Here are problems 22 and 23 on the gravity and uniform circular motion review paper. Number 22, a satellite is in a circular orbit around an unknown planet. The satellite has a speed of 1.7 times 10 to the fourth meters per second. And the radius of that orbit, this is from the center of the planet, is 5.25 times 10 to the sixth meters. I'm calling that V1 and R1 because it's satellite number one. A second satellite, also has a circular orbit around the same planet. The orbit of the second satellite has a radius of 8.6 times 10 to the sixth meters. We want to know how fast that second satellite is going. Now we have an equation which solves for the velocity of a satellite going around a planet, but it involves having the mass of the planet. We need that. And I don't have that. That's a bit of a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the first satellite, since I know how fast it goes, and I know its orbital radius, and I'm going to figure out, well, what's the mass of the planet? So I'm going to do that the long way, where I have force of gravity is equal to centripetal force, and I'm going to plug in what those things are, and I'm going to solve for the mass of the planet. If you are looking at your equation sheet, you just have to do a little bit of algebra to get the exact same equation I have. So force of gravity equals centripetal force. For force of gravity, we use Newton's law of universal gravitation, which is big G, mass of the planet, mass of the satellite, divided by the distance between them squared. And that's going to equal the mass of the satellite times the speed of the satellite squared, divided by the distance between the two things. The mass of the satellite cancels in both cases, and r squared in the bottom left cancels with the r in the right. Now I'm looking for mass of the planet. So I'm going to multiply the r up to the top over on the right, which is why I have v squared over or times r. And g I've got to get rid of. I've got to divide g. So I'm going to divide it into my denominator. So that's why it's in the denominator on the right side. Now I can plug in some numbers. The velocity was given at 1.7 times 10 to the fourth meters per second. Don't forget to square it. Times that orbital radius of 5.25 times 10 to the sixth meters. That's all going to get divided by 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. And that tells me that the planet has a mass of 2.27 times 10 to the 25th kilograms. Now I can take a look at my second satellite pretty easily. Gravity is still equal to the centripetal force. So Newton's law of universal gravitation equals mv squared over r. Masses of the satellites cancel r squared in the bottom on the left cancels with the r on the right, leaving me with just one r over here. I take my square root to get rid of the squared, and I get the square root of big G, mass of the planet over the distance between them squared, equaling my velocity. Plugging in my numbers, big G is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. The mass of the planet we solve for at 2.27 times 10 to the 25th kilograms and the distance between them is 8.6 times 10 to the sixth meters. Plug that in my calculator and I get 13,282.5 meters per second. Number 23, a satellite is in a circular orbit about the Earth. The period of the satellite is 1.2 times 10 to the fourth seconds. What is the speed at which the satellite travels? We know the mass of the Earth is 5.972 times 10 to the 24th, and we're looking for velocity. Well, force of gravity is equal to centripetal force, and this is one where I don't just have the equation for velocity easy to use because I do not know the orbital radius of the satellite. So i got to solve for that if I want to use my velocity equation, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up force of gravity equals centripetal force, Newton's law of universal gravitation, big G, the two masses, mass of satellite, mass of Earth, over the distance between them squared. For centripetal force, I'm going to use the m for pi squared r over t squared version because I have time. So that's the one I'm going to use because it's the one I have the most information about. Now, if you try to use the version that's on your equation sheet, you're going to have to do a little bit of algebra in order to solve for the radius since it's already set up for time. So here's what I do for my algebra, solving for r. I'm going to get the r's to the same side of the equation. So I'm going to multiply the t squared up over here to the left, giving me g, mass of the earth, and t squared. So those are the things in my numerator. I'm going to multiply the r squared out of my denominator up over here to the right side, and r times r squared becomes an r cubed. And then I'm going to get rid of the 4 pi squared by dividing it over to the left. 
down here, which is why it's in the denominator. Now remember I said we have an r cubed on this side, but I don't want r cubed, I just want r, so I'm gonna take the cube root. Some calculators have trouble doing this, so how would I take a cube root on a calculator that doesn't just let me easily do that? You can raise the whole thing, put it in parentheses, and raise it to the one-third power, and you can plug it into your calculator that way. We're gonna plug in our numbers. Big G, as always, is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. Mass of the Earth, 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. The time was given at 1.2 times 10 to the 4th seconds. Don't forget to square it. All divided by 4 times pi squared. That gives me an orbital radius of 1.133 times 10 to the 7th meters. Now I can very easily solve for velocity. You can plug into the velocity equation on your equation sheet or just use velocity equals two pi r over time, very basic uniform circular motion equation, and plug in my numbers. Two times pi times the radius we just solved for, divided by the time, 1.2 times 10 to the fourth given in the problem. And that's gonna give us an orbital speed of 5,932 meters per second.